Hello and welcome. So this is part two of a Git and GitHub and RStudio video. In the previous video, we went over what version control and uh, Git is and why we want to use it. In this video, we're going to go over the kind of nitty gritty details of setting up Git for RStudio uh, and then going through a couple of those uh, examples um, of using Git integrated with um, an RStudio project. In the video description below, I'll have little links where you can kind of um, jump ahead to whatever section you want to actually get to. To create a new RStudio project link to Git, what you do is you go to the Projects tab, then click on New, Version Control, and then Git. And if you haven't installed Git yet, you're going to need to install it, as is the case in, in this example. So now let's just go through the steps of installing Git for Windows. Great, now that Git is downloaded and installed, let's just double check that it's uh, installed correctly by opening up the bash script. And then um, we're also going to need to um, adjust some configuration settings um, in Git in order for it to work to connect to our GitHub account. The first thing that you're gonna type is git config dash dash global and then user dot name and then put in the username that you have associated to your GitHub account. In, my, in this case, it's economic Curtis. And then you're going to do a similar command, but with user.email um, listing the email address you have associated with your GitHub account. Now that we have Git configured to your GitHub account, let's uh, restart our studio. Um, and then if we try to set up an RStudio project linked to Git, we're going to get the, that error message again. We're going to need to configure our studio. Uh, to know where to access Git. To do that, go to Tools, Global Options, and in Global Options, go to Git slash SVN, and under Git Executable, uh, find where your git.exe file was installed. In all likelihood, if you have Windows, it's going to be uh, somewhere approximately where I'm about to show you. Once you find your git folder, you'll find the git.exe file under um, git slash bin slash git.exe. Uh, this is going to be different uh, if you have a Mac or if you have uh, Linux, so I'll give you a link to instructions um, for those operating systems. And of course, don't forget to restart our studio once you've set this up. And once we've restarted, go to um, Projects, New Project, Virgin Control, Git, and uh, we are ready to set it up. There are a couple ways to initialize a new repository. I'm going to do it through GitHub. Going to github.com, log into my account. You click on the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner, New, New Repository, and fill out the settings there. And then I'm also going to have a uh, README markdown document as well. And our studio is going to need the repository URL, and you'll get that from uh, this little text box in uh, Git.
back in RStudio. So now let's set up that RStudio project with the correct um, Git URL. And we're also going to need to select a local directory on our computer to place the repository. That is to say, to place the develop branch, like the local branch of the repo. And clicking OK is going to clone that repo. And we could see here it's set up in our studio. And we could start making changes to this repo and uh, staging those changes. Let's start off just making a small change to the readme markdown file. Um, let's check those with that git button and then git commit. And we'll see that because we haven't saved the readme file yet, we, haven't, we can't review those changes quite yet. Having saved that readme file, we can now review those changes in our studio's git interface. And then I'm gonna make a couple extra new folders, called one called new folder, uh, and I'm gonna put a script inside there. I'm gonna call that script um, test.r. Um, and we could then review the creation of those new um, script and new folder in the review changes window. Great, so you can see that we've staged these changes. Um, we're gonna check them and then make a commit to our local branch, our developed branch of the repository. Uh, we just gotta put in a quick little comment. And here we have a little summary of our commit. Now, in order to update the master branch, we first need to pull from the, that master branch. Um, obviously, nothing's changed, so we're, our local repository is already up to date. Um, and now that we're good, we could then push our new change, our new local repository, up to the master branch. And if we go back to github.com to see the master branch, uh, we'll see that the readme file has been updated and we created the new folder with the test, new test.r um, file inside. Now thinking back to that pull merge push process, the example I just gave you was an easy one because the master branch had uh, been unchanged since we did our clone. Uh, but suppose the master branch had changed. Suppose uh, some of the files there had been updated by you or someone else. Um, let's give an example where we have to merge that master branch after we've pulled it. Great, so the master branch is now edited. I edited it through github.com. Let's go back to our local, local repo and uh, suppose we make a couple changes there to the readme file as well. We see stage in the develop branch, just that one individual small change we made to the local uh, repo. So to finish this merge example, let us uh, commit that small change. So remember, normally we should pull from the master branch, merge it with our local, and then push that kind of final version up back to the master branch. But let's see the error message we get when we try to push the unupdated uh, local develop branch to the master. I mean, first, be sure to get your password right. And we're gonna see the error message is telling us that the master branch has some work that we don't have uh, locally yet. It's basically saying, first pull, then merge, and then you'll be able to push. We do get a, a message that there are some conflicts that we're going to have to merge. So let's uh, try to do that in the local updated repository. So now that we are, have made our edits, let's stage it, commit it, and then um, push it back to the master branch. Um, before I push this change, I just wanna to show to you that uh, if we were to pull a second time, our repo um, would be shown as being up to date. Great, so we are ready. Let's uh, push it. We put it in our um, login information for this GitHub um, Git repo um, and push it. We see that it's gone through 
correctly. So let's go back to that uh, github.com website and check that the change has gone through. So it looked like we were successfully able to uh, merge and push everything. Oh, and there's a little bit of extra tagging at on the readme markdown file that I forgot to delete. So let's go back, um, update the local readme, and um, push that to this master branch again. And after a bit of work, the master branch is finally correct and up to date. Awesome. So yeah, thanks. Uh, in this video, we just installed Git. We um, hooked up our studio and Git to a repository um, that we have went to a GitHub account. We then went through a couple of examples of using um, version control with our studio, specifically Git and GitHub with our studio. Um, you know, we we uh, cloned, we, well, we created a, a repository on GitHub. We then cloned it to our uh, local branch on our studio. We then, um, you know, made some changes. That is to say, we, we staged some changes. Uh, we made a, co a commit, um, and then we merged that back with the master branch. And then we also went through, you know, a nice little example where suppose that master branch had been changed or updated or something like that. So we went through kind of a merge example uh, of how to bring our local version up to date so that we could actually push it to the master branch correctly. Um, and I hope that was helpful. Thanks and have a good day. Bye-bye.